where I'll be going over Pat McGrath's look for the CoverGirl Stormtrooper look. If you don't know Pat McGrath, she has been called one of the most influential makeup artists in the world. And what's even cooler about this video is that it's sponsored by CoverGirl. So honestly, right off the bat, I wanna say thank you so much to CoverGirl. This is such an awesome opportunity to be able to do this video. And thank you for enjoying my art. CoverGirl is partnering with Star Wars in celebration of the new release of the new movie, The Force Awakens. Now it comes out in December, well, because CoverGirl is sponsoring this video, I can like barely contain my excitement. I'm having trouble filming this intro because I'm very excited right now. I got to get a sneak peek at the new CoverGirl Star Wars collection. I guess technically you guys did too since I'm showing you this. And they're literally following the Star Wars theme of light versus dark. Of course, we took the dark. There's going to be a total of six looks. This look is one out of the six. There's only going to be two looks revealed today. I am doing the Stormtrooper look and the other one is Droid. Droid is the light side. Stormtrooper is the dark side. All the products that you save are listed somewhere around the video. Actually, all the products in this video are CoverGirl. They'll still be listed below, but the Star Wars mascara and the Star Wars lipstick is not out yet. It'll be out in September. But everything else is in stores. No. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by applying True Blend Liquid Foundation and also mixing in a little bit of the Bombshell Shine Shadow in Ice Queen. And when I say mixing in a little, I mean like a very little. By adding a little bit of that shine shadow into your foundation, you're also bringing light to your face. On top of bringing dimension to your foundation, it's also making your foundation a lighter color since our reference photo is pretty pale. Because this is lighter than my natural skin tone, I'm also bringing it down onto my neck and my chest. To set these products, you want to very lightly powder it with a translucent powder. Upon using the Shine Shadow and Ice Queen, I literally instantly fell in love with it. I decided to also apply this product directly to my collarbone as well as a little bit of my neck just to really bring those things out. Remember that anything you highlight is what you want to bring forward. Because my eyebrows are so light, I'm then taking the Bombshell Powder Brow and Liner. If you guys don't want such a drawn on effect, this product is going to make your brows look more natural. You could also use this to line your eyes if you want, if you just want like a soft eyeliner. Since I wanted to get as close to the reference photo as possible, I wanted to define my brows even more. And I'm going to be doing this using the Intensify Me Liner. The model's brows are much thicker than mine naturally are, so I'm going to be filling them in thicker as well as bringing them in closer together. And this eyeliner has a two different shape applicator, so I'm using the paddle type shape flat down for the thicker parts and then twisting it sideways to use the thinner side for details. Go ahead and prime your eyes. For the eyes, I'm literally starting from the top to the bottom, starting off with the color Snow Blossom. Yes, yes, I'm using the applicator. I'm using the applicator reason being because I want to get a lot of product very close to the brows without mixing them together. And I'm just patting this product on underneath my brow bone. Because this look has very defined shapes, I wanted to go back to the Intensify Me liner. For this part of the tutorial, it's best to have the reference photo of Pat McGrath's makeup in front of you. I'm first taking the liner and drawing a small V towards my inner corner. From the inner tip of my brow, I'm then drawing a straight line outward. On a curved surface, this might be a little difficult, and remember that when you move your eyebrows, the line is going to move. So try to relax your face as much as possible. From the tip of that line, I'm then connecting it back down right above my upper lash line. To give myself a general guide of where the crease is going to go, I'm then just dotting the eyeliner above my crease. I'm then using the CoverGirl eyeshadow quad in number four, which is Intensify. We are skipping one, two, and three, which is Illuminate, Enrich, and Frame, right into Intensify, because this is intense. And I'm filling in the majority of that shape. To make sure that I have clean edges, I'm then going back to the Intensify Me eyeliner and just thickly outlining that shape. Right now, it should be coming along like this. This was the most difficult part of the tutorial. Using the color Snow Blossom, which is the same white that we used underneath our brows, I'm applying it to my lid and my inner corner. When applying this color, you want to pat it as much as possible. If you do it with sweeping motions, it's going to make it more sheer. I'm also applying this underneath the outer wing. Once again, taking the Intensify Me liner on the skinny side. I'm lining the tops of my eyes in a bar eyeliner type shape. We'll be coming back to this liner in a little bit to make it all fancy, but for right now, just a line. For my tight line and water line, I'm going to be lining it using the Ink It Perfect Point Plus, which is a waterproof long wear liner. Because I already have my foundation on, I'm also using a tissue just to protect from getting fingerprints on my face. With this liner, you also have a little bit of time to smudge it out, so I'm taking an angled brush and just smudging it right underneath the lower water line. And here's where we connect everything. Drawing the most beautiful line to my lower lash line and to the top of my liner. 
To intensify the inner corners, I'm going back to number four of the quad palette and just ever so lightly continuing my lower liner downward. Once again, go back to the Intensify Me liner and draw in the inner corners of your original liner. Apply either the light side or the dark side mascara. Of course we're applying the dark side. Don't be crazy. On both the light and the dark side, these are actually collector's items, and they have 1 out of 10. I have 6 out of 10 as well as 10 out of 10. What makes both the light and the dark side collectible is that they all have different sayings on them. So I have 10 out of 10, which is immune to the light. And then I also have 6 out of 10, which is, I will finish what you started. I also have 4 out of 10 on the light side, which is, I feel the good in you. And 5 out of 10 on the light side, which is, luminous beings are we. None of that actually matters because we are the dark side. I'm applying two coats to the top and one coat to the bottom. I'm then lining my lips in the color Sophisticated. For my lipstick, I'm using their other cosmetic in the Star Wars collection, and this is Dark Purple shade number 50. The lipsticks also follow the theme of light and dark, and there's going to be six shades. And their Star Wars collection is only out for a limited time only. So if you guys want them, you better go get them as soon as they hit the shelves. Finally, I'm taking the color Silver Lining to give my cheeks that little bit of gray yet fierce contouring. Although Pat McGrath's makeup does not include white nail polish, I wanted to include this in the look to give a little nod to the outfit in the reference photo as well. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, what you thought of it, and thank you so much to CoverGirl for letting me demo on YouTube Pat McGrath's makeup as well as being able to be one of the first to use a limited edition Star Wars and CoverGirl collection on YouTube.